In this screencast, I'll show you how the NOT operator can be used to make decisions about your search strategy when you're considering multiple approaches. For example, if you're wondering how far to stretch your proximity operator, whether to include a specific synonym, or whether to use a specific mesh heading, the NOT operator can allow you to compare strategies to decide on the best approach for you. For our first example, we'll look at whether it is beneficial to include a specific synonym in our search. In our search about pet therapy for those in assisted living situations, we might wonder how detailed to go in our synonym for animal. We don't want to risk missing a study that includes a less common pet or animal, but we also want to ensure our search is concise. So let's consider the rodent family that serves pets, hamsters, gerbils, and guinea pigs, for example. It's possible that a study exists on the use of therapy hamsters in long-term care homes. And we can use the NOT operator to determine whether these synonyms will contribute to our search results in a manner that will maintain our desired balance of precision and sensitivity. To do this, we will repeat every line in our search, and we will add synonyms for the three animals mentioned, hamster, gerbil, and guinea pig, in the appropriate search lines. Now we can compare our results from the two searches. If there is a difference in the number, we can use the NOT operator to see which articles were retrieved with these new synonyms. We'll type 28 NOT 14 to retrieve these additional hits. In this case, there are 18 additional results when we include these synonyms. At this point, it is worth going through these results to see whether these articles are useful in your search. Since this article appears to answer my question, I'll decide to add these rodent pet terms in my search. Remember, as with any search term, deciding whether to add a term or not is a judgment call you're making in an attempt to balance precision and sensitivity. If you have any questions about using the NOT operator to construct your search in the best way possible for you, please feel free to contact us at ask.gerstein at utoronto.ca.